This is Chris Toy, your Boomer Tech Guide, and today's Facebook Live is going to be a continuation of our focus on pasta. Today we're going to do dessert and pasta. We're going to make chocolate pasta with a special sauce. So let's get started. So to make chocolate pasta, we'll put in about a cup a little less of flour. I use bread flour. An egg. About a half a teaspoon of salt. And two tablespoons of powdered chocolate. We'll make that a generous two tablespoons because we like chocolate. There we go. And just as we did before, what we want is we want the texture to be like uncooked couscous or small pellets. So let's process that. Take a look here. Yeah, so this is pretty good. So here we have these small pellets, and when I reach in, it just sticks together. So it makes like a nice dough. So let's take this out. Gather this dough up. All right. So here's our dough. It's not sticky, but it stays together. And what we'll do. We'll flatten this. I took a piece of dough that was maybe the size of a golf ball. And here's our pasta machine. I've got it on the widest setting. And we'll put that right through. And we can use the rollers to actually knead the dough a little bit before we start to make it thinner. It smells great. It smells like chocolate. So now we'll go thinner. And again. This nice sheet of dough. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get each of the ends nice and straight. So that when we roll it out, it will be nice and straight. There we go. And I'm going to make this relatively thin. I'm not, I'm not going to go to the thinnest. I'm going to the next to the thinnest setting. There we go. So that's pretty good. So let's 
decide. I'm going to make a um, fettuccine. So it's going to be a wider noodle. So we'll put these right through here. And a great use for chopsticks. So I've got some water boiling here. I'm going to put this cool cooking implement right in. Just tilt this, put it right in. And as always, when you first put that pasta in for the first five seconds or so, if you just move that around, that will allow the hot water, the boiling water, to seal the surface of the pasta. So, there we go. All right. That's great. So while that's cooking, what we'll do now is we will make our sauce for the chocolate pasta. So what I'll do quickly is I'll just clean out my processor. <coughs> so so our sauce is going to be equal parts cream cheese and yogurt. And something sweet, because the pasta is not sweet. Let me just give that a quick stir. It's almost done. And what we're going to use is, we're going to use some local honey. This is uh, from my good friend, Linda Murphy done some hiking with me. And I'm gonna put in a tablespoon of honey. Yum. You could use uh, powdered sugar, or if you wanted to, you could use um, maple syrup. So let's process that until it's nice and smooth. sauce is ready, our pasta is cooked. So what we'll do, since this is dessert, we don't want it to be super hot. So what I have over here is a ice water bath and we'll just put that right in there into our ice water. Give that a little bit of a stir. And cool and you can you could do this in advance if you wanted to so this is gonna look great there we go I gave myself a good helping and let's drizzle on some of our sauce.
So there you have it. Let me taste this to make sure it's okay. Watch my face. That's terrible. I'll have to eat it all. Anyway, that's it. Pasta with a nice sweet sauce. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.